Hello, hello, welcome to File Folder Friday. Guess what day it is? I don't know what day I'm putting this out yet, so I actually don't know what day this is. Um, this one is going to be a very kind of straightforward, um, if you're a beginner, it will be great, I think. Um, what we are going to do is we are going to create a traveller's notebook insert today. I am going to keep it as simple as possible. I'm going to sew, but you've got the option to just glue. You don't have to sew at all. Um, and the first thing is a traveller's notebook insert is the little book that goes inside the traveller's notebook. The traveller's notebook is the cover. So we're going to make an insert. It doesn't necessarily have to be used as an insert because a lot of people just use them as journals anyway. Um, but this is the size of a standard traveller's notebook insert. Now, I usually work in centimetres, but I'm going to be using my scoreboard today. So I am going to use some inches and I know I've had a lot of comments about how it's confusing switching between the two. Um, it confuses me. Maths in general confuses me. I'm not very good with numbers at all. Um, but I can't do everything. I can't do centimetres when I'm using my scoreboard, for example, because it's only in inches. So um, trying to get it into a centimetre groove is, is impossible. So I apologise if it's confusing. I'll try and keep it as simple as I can. Um, but I'm going to try and leave that in shot. I'll just check my software while it's working. Um, just so you've got those figures there. In a similar way to the um, no kit, um, no kit tag book, I am going to use mostly things from a book to make my cover. Now I'm using this book here. I've got two copies of it. So this is this is the um, semi-used copy. Um, somebody a long time ago recommended this book to me and I've I've picked I've managed luckily to pick up a couple since then beautiful images um, this is not going to be for sale so I know there's not an issue with me using pages from this in terms of copyright what I have done is I've got a file folder and I've already pulled out a few pages I was trying not to be too picky I just picked a few I want to add some text so I'm going to use that so the first thing we need to do is make our cover the right size for our traveller's notebook. Now, the first thing is I'm going to use this as my straight edge because that's the folded edge. I'm going to just trim off that edge to make sure it's straight. And I am going to cut my file. Oh, that's moved. The sticky didn't stay stuck. I'm going to cut this eight 0.25 inches high like that now the width of my notebook is 4.25 however I want a flap okay so I'm going to add an inch and a half so I'm going to make it 575 um, which is a little bit of a pain because, um, actually let's just go six, because this is my only gripe about this machine, is you can't see the measurements down here. So I'm just going to cut that at six. In comes the scoreboard. So the notebook needs to be 4.25 so I'm going to score at 4.25, turn it over, making sure my crease is on that left hand side and score again at 4.25. So now I can fold these over, score those, burnish those down. Now we have cover that's 8.25 by 4.25 okay fabulous love it nice and simple now here we go to the fun bit um i am going to start by picking an image for my front cover 
and I think I'm probably gonna have to go for something on this page here because it's just so beautiful. I know I've got 8.25 by 4.25 roughly as my cover size. So I'm gonna put that aside for a bit, bring back my cutter, and I'm gonna just trim off the bottom of this page straight. That was terrible. Okay. And I'm going to straighten this torn edge where I've taken it out of the book. But I'm going to kind of push it up to the imagery so I've got as little white space as possible. Now I'm going to drop the 0.25. So I'm just going to do this 8 by 4 So that's a nice piece. And that's a nice piece. Now how big is this? That's slightly too small, but that can be used for something else. So I'm not going to throw those away. That's one piece done. Now I'm going to find another piece that I like. Okay, front and back covers, so they're done. And now I know that I need, I want to cover the two little flaps. So I'm just gonna measure those again. I'm gonna cut these eight by one and a half inches. Now I know that's the right width, so I'm gonna cut So I've got all my pieces cut. That's going to be my front. That's going to be my back. And then these are going to be my little pockets like that. So it's going to be quite pretty. Um, I'm going to glue these all into place. Okay, that's all done. Now I'm going to kind of decide if I, I've got some, this is really pretty text. So I'm going to have a little look and decide whether I want to add any of that. Got my little paper cutter here because I'm going for straight edges again on this. I think I like that. I'm not going to ink, but I am just going to glue these into place. So that's done. You might see that I swapped these over because we would have just covered up a little bit too much of that bird. So I quite like it. I like the fact that we've got some text. The only thing I have done is I've put both of these the same way up and I would have liked to have put one of them um, maybe upside down. It's already out. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to fold my book in half and I'm just going to use my corner rounder to take out a little notch there so we've got a little notch cut out these will go like so I'm going to show you an error I made um, this is the second one I filmed <laughs> so as usual I'm going to show you the error I made in the previous one although I'm using book pages I am going to use some digital labels um, you don't have to obviously it's completely up to you um, but what I would like to do is just add a few little labels. I'm keeping it simple. I'm really not going to be adding um, lots of complicated things to this. A couple of things. I'm not going to overthink it. Just picking a few bits out. 
that would all work for me. Thank you to everyone who contacted me or messaged via YouTube or contacted me via YouTube comments um, about the art glitter glue um, and the weather. I had absolutely no idea that they wouldn't um, post it um, or they couldn't post it if it was... It makes sense, obviously, if it's freezing cold, you know, the glue could freeze. So um, it's safer not to ship. And I completely get that, but it wouldn't have even crossed my mind. Um, but thank you to those of you that did let me know. It does make complete sense. Um, I did actually manage to get hold of one. So here is our kind of ready to go cover. If you wanted to ink, you could do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my little ink box. Um, I'm gonna use a brush and I've got vintage photo. I'm not gonna go too dark on this and I'm just gonna literally go over here in a few places. And I forgot that I've just, um, re-inked it so it's it's a little bit juicier than than I thought it would be um, just gonna take a little bit of it off I'm not you know not worried too much just make that a little bit random like it like that right now sewing what I am going to do is I'm gonna sew down these edges okay I'm going to do that first. So now these edges are sewn, when we close that, we're still going to have a sewn edge along this pocket. The pocket is going to be very tight because I am actually going to be sewing down here. I could sew down there before I put my pocket in place, but I'm keeping this simple, simple. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue here and here. And hold that down. And the same the other side. A tiny bit of glue there and there. Close that, hold that in place, okay. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew all the way round here and I'm gonna sew down here. And there we have it. We have our little traveler's notebook insert cover all ready to go. Before I go any further, I'm gonna show you the error. Now you'll notice I've used a straight stitch around here um, and I've left a good gap down this spine. The previous one that I made, I used a zigzag stitch. Now, what you'll find, if you put the zigzag stitching too close together, it's really going to kind of compromise this um, spine. So if I sew anything into that now, it's going to absolutely just fall apart, without a doubt. In another file fold friday we're going to be making another journal cover not a not a tn but another journal cover slightly different a little bit more complicated and i'm going to show you how we could kind of rectify that if we do this it with the zigzag stitch and we're just going to show you more options really but this can now become a traveler's notebook by adding papers and this one will just become an insert. So what I would do was put that in the elastic, put this in the elastic, and this one can just be used to hold ephemera. So I'm not gonna sew anything into there. So this is also a great way to make an insert for your traveler's notebook. Um, I'm just gonna grab some papers. I'm not gonna show you how to put a signature together. That's not the purpose of this video, but I'm gonna grab some papers and then sew those into here. I've got everything in place. I've just, um, I haven't used any tea dyed paper. I'm just using a few book pages and some vintage papers. So it's just going to be kind of um, a bit eclectic, really, a bit of a mix. So if you are an absolute beginner and you want to sew um, a journal, the first thing you must get is an awl. Um, they are super cheap. Um, I've got some book binding needles and these came from Shepherds of London, but any decent sized needle will do. And it's better to start with a bigger needle. And then I'm using some linen 
uh, waxed thread. There's again lots of different varieties of this. So I've attached my papers just top and bottom with a couple of clips and I'm not going to use anything fancy to do this. I'm just going to grab my awl, guess about halfway, slightly close my book and push my awl through. And I want it to come through a decent amount so I know I've got a good size hole. Okay, um, and then I'm just going to go up a couple of inches, close it, push that through again, and then I'm going to come down a couple of inches, close it, and do that again. When you're creating a single signature journal, it's kind of really easy to do this. If you are creating a book with several signatures, then of course you would need to make a template. Um, that's something we maybe go over in a different video. I've got a whole playlist on creating journals. There's definitely a video there to show you how to do that. But um, I think I'm going to refresh all of these videos, to be honest. So I'm just going to thread my needle. Again, I do have videos on creating um, a three-hole pamphlet stitch and a five-hole pamphlet stitch. I'm going to go in the middle. This is the easiest way to sew a signature together. In the middle, I'm going to come up to the top and back through. You can see this is not perfect, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So we've got that. So it's coming out here. I'm going to go down to the bottom through there there's two ways of sewing the three hole pamphlet stitch this is the easiest way okay so don't don't worry about twisting your book away around it's fine if you need to twist your book so you can see this thread is to the left of that big center stitch so now I'm going to put my needle through the middle again and this time I want to bring my needle and thread up on the right hand side of that big stitch videos in the playlist are much much clearer so I do recommend you go and have a look at those so I'm just going to give this a little pull not too tight give that a little flick and then I'm just going to tie that off and you can do all sorts of things with this thread I'm just going to take that and that off I'm just going to leave that for now just cut those off and there we have a very, very easy traveller's notebook insert. We've got a little, just a little slip here that can go into our pocket. So there we go. Just a really, really cute little traveller's notebook. So if we wanted to, we've got a little clip. We can clip that closed just to keep that as simple as possible. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I will be back with another File Folder Friday, frenzy, fun day at some point. I will see you soon. Bye.